Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will show you the permissions required to impersonate an agent or a contact in Bull Desk. I will also show you how to impersonate them and remove user impersonation. In Bull Desk, an administrator can impersonate an agent or a contact to access the system and operate as if they were logged in as that user. This feature is useful when testing permissions and content that only the users can access and troubleshooting the issues that they report. First, let me show you the permissions agents require to impersonate another agent. They must have the Manage Agents permission enabled for their roles. By default, users with the Account Owner and Support Administrator roles have this permission. System roles like Support Manager and Agent do not have such permissions. However, you can create a custom role and enable this permission. To learn more about managing roles and permissions, follow the link in this video's description. Now, let me show you how to impersonate an agent. I sign in to my Bold Desk account as an administrator and navigate to the admin module. Then, I select the agent option under users and permissions to open the agent list. Next, I click the more actions icon and select the impersonate option. Alternatively, you can use the option on the agent's profile page. Open the agent profile page, click the more actions icon, and select the impersonate option. When impersonating an agent, a message will appear at the top of the page, indicating the impersonation with the agent's name. The account settings and features will dynamically adjust according to the access privileges and permissions granted to the agent. It is important to note the following. Agents who have any permission related to the admin module cannot be impersonated. Also, unverified agents cannot be impersonated. Next, you can also remove agent impersonations by clicking the Remove Impersonation link in the message displayed. In the same way, an agent can impersonate a contact. For agents to be able to impersonate a contact, they must have the Impersonate Contact permission enabled for their roles. All the system roles, except an agent role have this permission enabled. To do this, I navigate to the Contacts module and select the Contact option. This will open the contact listing page. Then, I select the contact to impersonate, click the More Actions icon, and select the Impersonate option. Alternatively, I can impersonate a contact from the Details page. I click the More Actions icon and select the Impersonate option. When impersonating a contact, a message will show at the top of the page, indicating the impersonation with the contact's name. Again here, the account settings and features will dynamically adjust according to the access privileges granted to the contact. To remove the contact impersonation, click the Remove Impersonation on the displayed message. And that's it. In summary, I showed the permission required to impersonate an agent or a contact and how to impersonate them. I also showed the changes in account settings when impersonating a user and how to remove the user impersonation. If you found this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.